Here's how to add a card to your Apple Wallet. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you want to be able to pay for things easily, just using your iPhone and the Apple Wallet, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, you can open up the Apple Wallet here and do things in here. However, it doesn't have all of the functionality as it does in the settings, and you'll want to make sure some things are toggled on and off. So let's actually go into the settings instead and scroll to the very bottom, and you can see Wallet and Apple Pay. Now, if I go in here, you'll want to check a couple different things. You can see Apple Cash is turned on if you wanted that basically as a payment method. But you can also at the very bottom here see a number of different cards I have here, but I can hit add card. And from here, you can see previous cards that you might have already loaded up here. You can see apply for an Apple card. This is an Apple credit card. Or if you wanted debit or credit card, let's tap on that and hit continue. And now it says hold it near a card or I can enter the details manually or I can also even hit scan card with camera. So there are a bunch of different options in terms of basically just adding that credit card or debit card to your Apple wallet here. However, after you go through that process, you want to make sure that you check a number of things. So let's get all the way out of here. And at the very bottom, you can see double click side button. You wanna make sure that is toggled on. Essentially what this means is I can double tap and you'll see it pops up with the basically card to be able to read it and essentially pay for things. So you want that double click side button to be toggled on. And then you can see also transaction default. So you can choose the default card here, the default shipping address, email, phone number, all of these different things. You can also have basically pay later or rewards pop up in there. You can have a bunch of different functions that you can choose to either turn these on or off depending on your preference and how you wanna use your credit card or debit card when you're using Apple Pay. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.